What could be a major conflict of interest tops news about the Benghazi terror attacks tonight. Some see disturbing issues surrounding the fight for the truth about what happened that fateful night at a self-described strategic advisory firm here in Washington. Our chief intelligence correspondent, Catherine Herridge, has the specifics for us. Meet Beacon Global Strategies. The online bios for its founders and managing directors suggest no group knows more about the Benghazi terrorist attack, the Obama administration's response, while having a vested interest in the scandal's impact on Hillary Clinton's potential presidential ambitions. Philippe Rhinus traveled to more than 110 countries with Secretary of State Clinton as part of her senior team. Jeremy Bash was a former chief of staff to Leon Panetta at both the CIA and Defense Department. Andrew Shapiro was a Clinton policy advisor at the State Department, whose portfolio included ridding Libya of man pads. Republican J. Michael Allen, a former majority staff director for the House Intelligence Committee, was a Capitol Hill fixture at Chairman Mike Rogers' side. In a recent interview, Rhinus suggested Beacon may be a temporary stop. Quote, in terms of going back in, I think we all want to, but we also know that life doesn't necessarily work out so cutely. It is like a revolving door on steroids. Bill Allison's Sunlight Foundation is a nonprofit that supports government transparency. Republicans have gone through the revolving door, Democrats. It says an awful lot about Washington and how hard it is to really be independent in Washington. After retiring, former Deputy CIA Director Michael Morell joined the firm. A year earlier, in November 2012, Morell testified before the House Intelligence Committee about Benghazi, where Allen was the staff director. Business records show in April 2013, Beacon Global Strategies registered as an LLC. A month later, Morell testified for a second time before the House Intelligence committee about the Benghazi talking points. Congressional rules require immediate notice to the Ethics Committee when a senior Hill staffer negotiates for outside employment. These disclosure forms in Michael Allen's own handwriting state that he filed with the Ethics Committee in July, almost three months after Beacon registered. Morell is now expected to testify for a third time before the House Intelligence Committee in early April, after Republican allegations he misled Congress over the Benghazi talking points. One of Morell's new bosses is Allen, and Allen's old boss is the committee chair, Republican Congressman Mike Rogers. In a statement to Fox News, Beacon Global Strategy said Morell was not approached until well after he left the CIA. Allen was first approached in June after Beacon registered, adding that Allen filed the required paperwork. Therefore, nobody could have been influenced by events that were not yet planned and had not yet occurred. Fox News spoke with Congressman Mike Rogers late today, who underscored the fact that no congressional committee has done more to investigate Benghazi, and the former CIA Director Morell is now being recalled for a third time, where, in an open forum, all issues can be addressed, including allegations by Republicans that Morell misled the Senate Intelligence Committee. John. That'll be an interesting hearing to watch, no yeah. doubt.